Hi everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV and it's day 7 with the Kodak Playful video camera. Now I've been using this little camera all week bringing you daily video updates recorded with the Kodak Playful. Before I start this video, I'm just going to let you know that you need to check out the Geekanoids channel tomorrow, youtube.com forward slash Geekanoids and I will be posting my full review of the Kodak Playful. Now in this video I'm going to address one of the probably most common questions that I get asked is Dave can you please do a desk tour you guys seem to like to see the equipment I use and how I work so let's do a little desk tour for you on the Daily Tech TV channel so starting over here I have one of my Edirol monitors this is my studio monitors I use these for reviewing the audio that goes into the videos and what have we got just to the side here? We've got two Mac Alley enclosures. And they have got, I think, either one terabyte or two terabyte hard drives in them. I think actually it's two terabyte drives. Just above there, Casemate Fuel Max. I still use that. I reviewed that on the channel some time back. And on top of my Edirol monitor, I've got my Logitech uh, C910 web camera. Absolutely fantastic HD web camera. There's my glasses and my little model that I use in some of my photography videos there. And then let's come down onto my desk. So we have got the Magic Mouse, the Kodak PlaySport video camera. That was the one I was testing about a week ago. And I've got my Skype phone, Magic Trackpad. Now I use a Mac Pro. If I just scoot down just underneath the desk, there's my Mac Pro. And I use the Magic Trackpad, obviously, and the Apple keyboard with it. Now I've got my little notebooks there I use for scheduling all of my videos and then I've got a dual monitor set up. You can see my two monitors there and they're set up to extend my display. Just turned off as I've come onto the video with them and I'm just going to let you know what they are. They're made by Ayama and the model number is a Pro Elite E2472 HD. Really really happy with these two monitors. Let me just wake them up again. And just on top of one of the monitors, I've got a Mac Alley webcam, which I use from time to time as well. Now, you've caught me in the middle of recording again today. I'm doing more recording today. This is one of my Roto Light studio lights. I've got one there and another one just round off to the left. There's my Panasonic camera, which I've chosen to use today for my recording. And you're getting a little sneak peek here. I've got uh, SRS iWow 3D that I'm reviewing at the moment. Also, also this Griffin PowerDock Dual. Uh, it's a digital uh, player and phone charging stand. And when I say player, it's a bit of a, an over um, sort of uh, overrated sort of term. Really, it's not really a player, but it has got these little channels that channel the sound from your iPad uh, and and sort of increase the sound while it's docked. So it's more of a dual charger rather than a player. I've also got a nice little mouse there. Uh, this is a Nova Slider X uh, 600 mouse. It's a review that's going to be coming on the channel probably in about three weeks time, something like that. You can see my little memory cards over the back there. I get through a lot of memory cards because I record so much. And then over in the corner I've got some additional hard drives hiding away down there. Uh, a Freecom drive and a couple of uh, Samsung Story stations, I think they're called. Uh, a couple of lenses as well for my camera. And then because I've been doing some reviews today, I've been doing some case reviews. Just hidden away down there is my iPhone 4, because I've been reviewing some iPhone 4 cases. And my 4th gen iPod Touch, because I've been reviewing some iPod Touch cases. And I'm going to be doing this Griffin uh, PowerDock Dual next. And that's why I've got my iPhone at the ready. And then just round here, I have also got my iPad ready to show you how that device works. So that's a little look at my desk. The little telly you can see in the corner there is a 32-inch Sony TV. Ooh, what's this here? A couple of Apple T-shirts, I think, from Apple Store openings. Mm, very nice. So that is my desk. Um, I hope you've appreciated this little video. It shows you both what I use uh, on a day-to-day -day basis to create videos 
and also gives you a good look at how the Kodak Playful performs. Oh, and before I forget, people always ask me what this is. Now, I've got my Audio Technica microphone behind a Rockston pop filter, and that stops all the little clicky, poppy noises coming out in the audio when I'm recording voiceovers. And then somebody picked up on this in one of my previous videos, and they said, what are those yellow bits? I'm going to just show you. They're just It's a very low-tech solution, but these are little bits of sponge. And when I'm recording my voiceovers, I place these underneath my keyboard. So when I'm typing, I also put them under the trackpad. So when I'm typing and clicking away on the keyboard or the trackpad, it deadens the sound and it doesn't resonate through and isn't recorded as loud on the microphone. So I hope that's explained what these are. Very low-tech solution, a 10p. Uh, sponge just cut up into blocks and I use that for deadening sound so it's not all about spending loads of money if you can find a cheap solution to something then it's well worth doing so this has been a bit of a longer update for you today I hope you've enjoyed it and as I said at the beginning of this video check the Geekanoids channel tomorrow youtube.com forward slash Geekanoids for the full review of the Kodak Playful I'll see you all in the next video